So once you have completed the texture and the color process, you obviously you may want to pose the dinosaur. Now, if you are going to take this back to Maya, use it for animation, rigging, uh, you obviously wouldn't need to pose it. But if this is just uh, if you want to pose it within ZBrush, if you find that it is easier to pose here. Uh, you can follow along. So I'm going to show you how to pose it and in a few minutes how to render within ZBrush and how to take everything back to Maya. So the easiest way you to pose something is number one you want to go to the lowest subdivision level. It doesn't have to be exactly the lowest but uh, but a low subdivision level. And now First you have to know what kind of pose you want to get. So let's kind of follow something along the lines of this one. So now if you come here where it says rotate, press on that. And now you're going to hold down control and drag, say to half. Now you see that this area was masked and if we rotate something now right now we're using symmetry so you want to disable symmetry just press X now first thing if you notice if we rotate the eyes and the teeth uh, stay behind so you want to make you always want to make sure that those come along so you can go back to draw and control alt outside to make sure that that area it's not uh, masked. So now we can go back to a uh, rotate. And if you want to blur the mask, just press Ctrl and click. Okay. So now let's, let's go to uh, this view here. And you can create these controls just by clicking. And now we select this one to kind of rotate around. I'm not liking this very much, so let's move this just, just really slightly. It's not not a major change there. And you can go back to draw, press Q to do that, and mask some of the areas by holding down control. You can pre press Ctrl and click to blur the mask. Press R to s to rotate one more time. And you can kind of rotate the model. If you press in the middle, the, the one that's white, click on that to kind of rotate it this way as well. So this is pretty much how you can pose things. I'm going to get to the legs in a minute here. So the one that you're going to use the most is probably the rotate handle there. Go back to Q and mask maybe this area. You want to give it a give the neck. You know, pose the neck. Q 
Q and we can continue to pose and rotate the, the neck area there You can also use the move tool or we'll press W, kind of move that slightly. So it's, it's not too difficult to pose things within ZBrush. So now if we want to get the legs, we actually do the same thing. We can hold down control and drag. Maybe unmask some of the area here. R to scale and create our control points here. Control and drag. So as you can see, it's not really too difficult to actually get a decent pose here.
we can do the same with this one So it's not too difficult, um, just continue to mask. Pretty much using the rotate tool. I'm going to make sure that we're getting the area masked the ones we want so that nothing else is moving and we don't we don't know that we don't know about Okay, so let's say that we are happy with our with our pose here, and you can always, if you have areas that are somewhat overlapping, those may become a little visible, and some you'll be able to see some stretching when you go back to the highest division level. You can always kind of smooth things out before in some areas where you see obvious obvious imperfections. 
Now in this case I'm not seeing anything that I'm not expecting, so I'm going to leave it this way. Okay, so now we can say that we're pretty much okay with the pose that we got here. So we can go back to our highest division levels, of course. And I recommend that you save uh, a project. Maybe if you don't like one pose, you can save the original project and then, and then save multiple versions of different poses. It's always a good idea.